Welcome back ARC players to a brand new video. Now today it is launch day for Scorched Earth. It has come around pretty fast and we are going to be talking about everything you need to know for today's launch. Now this is probably like my 20th ever ARC launch day. I mean it's probably more than that, I don't even know. There's been It's been over the last eight years and uh, it's never always been the most smooth ride, um, I'm going to be honest with you, but um, obviously I will keep you guys up to date with any changes today. There is going to be a crazy amount of videos, so just stay around for all of your updates. Now, if you guys are excited for launch day, make sure to smash that like button. Can we just go for a crazy 2,000 like target today? Is that too much to ask? I don't know. But make sure to be subscribed as well if you don't want to miss out. And come and join us in the Discord today, guys, as we are nearly at 1,000 Discord members. If you want to join everyone for Scorched Earth launch day in the Discord, I recommend this, uh, you do so. Link is always in the description, and there's some amazing people to meet. So, yes, update day. Let's read through the community crunch just to give our, our mind a little refresh of what's going on today. So it says, look like um, they said it was meant to be coming out yesterday, um, but they said, look like all that desert heat's gone to our heads, planning a release over the holiday weekend. So to avoid any holiday mishaps and complications of cross-platform rollout on a Sunday, the launch is getting moved to April, Monday, April 1st for a proper showdown. To keep things fair and fiery during those first uh, few weeks, Scorched Earth will be a bit wild, a bit of a wild frontier. You'll only be able to bring your characters over for the first 60 days and you won't be able to bring any dinos or items onto the map. After the first 60 days, the gates swing wide open. Um, we know this might throw a wrench in your weekend plans and we're truly sorry about that but rest assured Score Surf and Bob's Tall Tales are just about ready to ride. So it's going to be launching today as we do know that and I am going to give you guys an up uh, like a, a average update time of what's happened over the years so it's obviously really really hard to call it like con like because I, I, I don't work for studio wildcard but i've just pretty much done a list of every t update time they tend to do and then i'll be explaining if it goes past any of these times then i'll explain to you guys it will be on for a wild very late night ride um so the first update time I put is 6 p.m. UK time. So I will be using UK time. So if you want to find out what time this is for you, it's pretty much an every two hour thing. Then just type in 6 p.m. UK time to your time zone on Google and it'll come up straight away. Um, so 6 p.m. UK time is the first time, uh, usual time they do a lot of stuff. Um, they used to do it a lot more in the past. They haven't done 6 p.m. for a while, but it is one of the potential slots that could happen. Um, so I just watch out for that. Then after 6 p.m., I've actually changed my mind, it's not uh, all two-hour slots, it's a 9 p.m. Um, update time. So they've done this quite a lot of times. Um, it used to always be 6 p.m. for a DLC, so I would actually keep my eyes on that, guys, because it there has been a lot of times in the past. This is for Survival Evolved. They've done 6 p.m. to give people the whole day to enjoy it. But if it doesn't come out at 6 p.m., and then 9 p.m. is is the next slot you should kind of be looking for. Um, they've done quite a lot of these in the past. Now, if they, uh, you know, time, it, they seem to be struggling and um, uh, and uh, we've missed the 6 p.m. and the 9 p.m. slot, then I would be looking at the 11 p.m. slot. So this is only two hours later than um, the 9 p.m., but this one is, I'd never mind this one too much because it, it means that I actually do have a, still a bit of time until it goes to the crazy hours of the morning. And then community crunch time, the last slot I've put is 1 a.m. Now, this is the time as I say, they do release community crunches on Friday, normally between that and mi uh, midnight and 1 a.m. Um, so these are like the main slot times they've ever done their releases over time. Now, what could also happen if none of these dates get, uh, uh, get well, none of these times get met is it goes, I've just put a note saying crazy update times. Now this could mean that um, if, uh, like, if it doesn't come out before 1 a.m., we could be looking at like till about 5 a.m. in the morning. This is all UK time still. Um, and then, yeah, you end up getting like no sleep. It's one of the worst things ever. But I think by the sounds of things, 
games. They put the game is this be the update has been ready. They went through QA. It's ready for console. It seems to be all ready to launch at a certain time today. So I don't think we'll be hitting crazy times today. I don't want to jinx it, but I am very worried that that could happen with if if we're not careful. Um, it's about happened many times in the old days. And if you remember, Ark Survival Ascended launch in October. Um, it was meant to be coming out in like I think it was like a 9 p.m. slot or something and uh, it ended up coming out at 10 a.m. the next day and I remember I've never been so tired in my life to the point that I literally thought I was going crazy it was that I had no sleep anyway um, so moving on from update time we've got update size now they if you don't remember the last up the last major update that went live was uh, actually launched with part of scorched earth in it already which means they they said that they because this is going live the actual on launch day the the patch shouldn't be as big as it would be if there wasn't the patch that we just had we'd probably be looking at like 60 plus gigabytes but i've actually only put 20 um, I don't know whether it's going to be that small, but the reason I've put 20 is because of the past patch and they said it's going to reduce the size crazily for on launch day. So I'm hoping that it won't be too bad. I've given 20 is an average of what it can be, but it's really great that that our other one went live. So um, the worst thing is if there's a launch day and the update's so big, some people might have some slower internet, which means they don't get to play it until like the next day. But the reason for that small, that other patch coming out, the, this one's going to be smaller, so let's hope it's not... I want it to even be less than 20, but I'm probably asking for way too much, aren't I? Anyway, the Frontier Pack is obviously launching today as well. Um, the estimated price that I've put on it over the last couple of days has been about $24.99. The reason why I think it's going to be that much is it does feature all three of the different Adventurer Packs. You have the Scorched Earth one dropping today. You have the Aberration one, which is coming Q4 2024. And then you have the um, Extinction Adventure Pack, which is coming, I think it's called Wasteland War, is coming Q1. 2025 i find it crazy that it's only the first of april today right and then the, it's going to take that long for the adventure packs to get finished it feels like that content doesn't even seem that much um but anyway i'm not into game development so i wouldn't know how long things take but uh yeah it's very very interesting Anyway, also, Ark Survival Ascended launched on Games Pass today for the Xbox. So, if you are someone who's looking to try out Scorched Earth and you haven't bought Ark Survival Ascended and you've only got maybe Survival Evolved, you can, and if you've got the Games Pass, you can go and download it for free today on the Games Pass, which uh, is a perfect time because Scorched Earth is completely free as well. If you do want the Frontier Pack, you will have to pay for it. Um, and it will be launching with the Oasisaur, which is part of the uh, Frontier pack. Um, so you have to, to be able to get that creature, you have to buy the Oasisaur. We've got bar games, dynamite, new skins, um, shovels that dig up treasure, trains and railroad tracks, and wagons. This is all that's been confirmed so far, and you can only get it if you do purchase the packs. Um, the stuff that you'll be getting for free is the Fazla Sutures. That is just coming within the map on its own. So yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to know for today's launch for Ark Survival Ascended Scorched Earth DLC. As I said, if anything changes throughout the day, updates from Wildcard, I will bring you guys all the videos that you need. It's obviously a bank holiday today in the UK, so I really hope it doesn't come out late and I hope it comes out earlier so people in the UK um, can enjoy their bank holiday. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Catch you guys in my next video. Let's see if we can smash that like target. Subscribe if you're new around here. Come and join the Discord, link in the description. Let's get ready.